Aaron, what did you think of the way that Brett Gardner battled in that ninth inning at bat? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, terrific. He had, a, he had a great night. Um, you know, the willingness to, you know, take some pitches there and, and give, give Wader an opportunity. Special stolen base right there at third. Considering the matchup, guy that's quick to the plate, left-handed hitter, gr really good throwing catcher, Martin jockeying him. Um, so, you know, Guardy willing to take one there with two strikes, changing the approach, obviously bringing the infield in there, and then just fought off some pitches and, and got enough of one. But it was a really good at bat, a really good, just really good team offense there um, in that final inning to grab it back. You, know, you mentioned, Wade, just how huge is that stolen base to get to third to change the complexity of that inning? Yeah, and, and, and I can't stress enough that how tough a matchup to steal right there was, you know. Um, you know, that's that guy's about as quick as you're going to get and a good throwing catcher with a lefty and and Martin, like I said, jockeying him. I mean, that's it's a great job. You know, you got to trust yourself and trust your nerve. And, you know, his eye contact with me, with Neb, it was just really, really special um, and, and set us up perfectly. You clearly need all the wins you can get right now. You typically do not use relievers three consecutive days. Was there any hesitation at all to go to Chapman there in the ninth? No, Chappie was good to go today all the way. So if we were in a safe situation, um, I was going Chappie tonight from the time we got here at, you know, 2 o'clock. And with Cortez, what stood out to you about the way he just – had to mow down that Orioles offense. I thought his stuff was really good. Um, his cutter was terrific. Um, you know, as good a cutter as he's had probably all year. Um, I thought he had really good life on his fastball. You know, we saw some good four seamers that he was able to beat guys to the punch with. Um, you know, backdoored some breaking balls. I thought I thought he flashed a better changeup tonight as well. I thought overall, it you know is it. it just my view, I, I thought it was as good a stuff as he's had, you know, and, and that's probably saying something, but I thought it stuff wise, it was special tonight. Take it to the next question. Put Eric Bowling. Aaron, what makes Gardner such a, a difficult matchup for the opposition, particularly late in games, even if he doesn't have the, the batting average, it seems like he grinds out an awful lot of at bats. Yeah, I mean, he's not afraid to go deep in the count. And, you know, you know he's going to control the zone. And, look, he, he's a different guy at the plate now in the second half of the season. You know, he's been a much, much better offensive player, much in a much better place in the box in the second half. Um, you know, but he, you know he's going to make a pitcher throw strikes, and especially in the tightest moments of games when, you know, there's a little bit of tension out there, you know, by and large, he's going to control the strike zone and, and work the count and, you know, give himself a chance and give the pitcher a chance to get himself in trouble. So um, good at bats by him all night, really. Thanks, guys.